Rise of Morning Skills with Pedro, Sherry Poems, Origami with Tim's mum, Zoo Games with the gorgeous Fran, he, he, he captured the competition and is singing along with my top brother, Nicholas Quill. Brilliant. Thank you, Chris. I can't believe it's episode number 74. It's mad. So what, when will we have episode 100 at this rate, if we did it Monday to Friday? It's always like, it'd be a Friday, yeah. So it'd be a Friday. So how many, that's, yeah. In five weeks tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, he, he, his first address um, is it, going to be... General theme. Be a, yeah, a general, general theme. theme. But it's yeah. called called the original, and so we're going to dress up as different characters. Now, any anything anybody wants, Chris O. Anything I'll anybody just, wants. Fancy. I'll just work it out. If we were to do Monday to Friday, which it looks like we will be, the Daily Show Monday to Friday. If we carry on doing five days a week, um, Friday the seventeenth of July will be shown oh, really? one hundred. Oh my goodness, I'll be mad. <laughs> Nick's, 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 Nick's no more. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try and get, we'll get, let's get some big names on. <laughs> let's get the entire <laughs> Fairchild family on. Right, let's get, get You just would have hoped, we would have hoped that lockdown would have been over when it started by July the 17th, wouldn't we? Well, yeah. in New Zealand, they've got it all, New Zealand's gone back to normal. I know. But we've got each other, so while we've got lockdown, we've got this, so it's good. New Zealand have got a good Prime Minister. Yeah, wasn't part of the Bullingdon Club. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't my a privileged said, white moron. My dad said something quite interesting to me yesterday about the... Uh, Let's get started, guys. Prime Minister. The, 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 the I, I, I was thinking, Sorry, turns all thumbs up. Look at this. Yeah, daily second, isn't it? This is Dan's book, Nick. There's a whole chapter on community building, Brighton Table Tennis Club, um, Carney's Community, and yeah, I've just had a little skim. It looks good. Cool. So, is the daily check-in? Shall we start that, Chris? So, I think. Yes. Tell you what you've got to do. It is a bit of a, a race here, so you're gonna. Uh, make sure you've got to hit the ball 74 times but the way you do it is up to you so you could do just all 74 forehands if you think that's going to be your quickest way if you're a really good players so i want brandon and tim and everybody to challenge themselves you might do alternate forehand or backhand or you might even go for some edges or some edges but we've got to get to 74 so it has to be good you've got to be good at counting here so really quick counting. So the first to get 74, once you've done 74, I would like you to sit down and put your back in front of your face and then I can see that you are done. So can you hold your bat and ball ready if I can see you're gonna do the challenge? Tim's ready, Lenore's yeah, gonna put got a few. Up. I think we've got yes. Fran got one, Susie's got a hand up, I've got one, Serena's got one, Lenora's got one. Oh wow, fantastic. So Chris, can you because you can see everybody, will you pull them in? Because my screen of course, squeezes it, yeah, of I can see everybody. Okay. So, let shall we go logically round then? So let's go to Fran, Tim, shall we first? Take it away, Fran. Okay. Um need to find it, spread it up. See, see the pretty flowers rising in the air, as natural as can be, glowing in the summer sun. Lovely. That's my poem. Oh, it's lovely. lovely. Beautiful. Really lovely. You've, got it. You've absolutely got it. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Right, let's go down to Chris O then. Chris O, are you ready? Well, it's kind of loving this one is. Mm. So we enjoy this one. Mm. But don't forget to get, get some tissues to wipe your tears. So um here we go. Um um Brighton Table Tennis Club is my life and all the coaches are mm, and my heart is, is on Tim because he is my brother. 
and the, the club Almost family. I love them. I love you all. And mm, you, you are my, you are in my heart. Oh, beautiful, Chris. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Nice bit of beauty coming out there. Love it. Lenora. Oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this was a, a friend of mine, uh, and she found something good about the lockdown, even though she got a bit of mental health problems. Uh, she found something very, very special that she was beginning to feel positive about. So it's called Quiet Revelations, and it's Claire, Claire Gravenor. Uh It starts like this. Hush, hush, everyone. Listen. Listen to the quietness of not doing. Listen to the chorus of birds outside. Listen to the raucous rounds of applause for the NHS workers. Listen to your neighbours talk for the first time. Listen to your elders' fears of dying and their pain inside. Listen to your darkest thoughts in the prison of your home. Listen to your body's need for rest and sleep. But listen to the silence of your soul while your heart beats. Lockdown has unearthed and awakened us to something never experienced before. Thankfully, I am alive, listening to this new world. That's oh, beautiful, Lenora. Lovely, lovely. My yes. name is Claire, Claire Grosvenor. Yeah, something I, special in a difficult time, that's perfect. Yeah, she, a she different inspired. example. Yeah. Serena. Fabulous, thank you. Hi, Serena. Hello. Okay. Uh, right, here we go. <laughs> trudge, 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 up the hill, up the steep hill. Trudge, 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 the sweat is running down. Trudge, 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 just one more ridge again. Trudge, 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 the view. I can't explain, so wondrous and vast. Trudge, 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 I'd do it all again. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. lovely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely, all that work and then that beauty, so that's great, lovely. <laughs> thank Beautiful, you. Susie, I think, is next along the line. Um, well, I was taking, I was putting a, a cover over our makeshift table tennis table and uh, there was a lot of snails around and um, I don't I, I don't particularly think they're very pretty but um, I remembered what Liz was saying about you know finding something pretty in you know in something uh, and and to be quite honest the, the sliminess of taking them off the cover <laughs> was quite so I wrote this little bit about the snail a sticky shell full of nature's patterns, clambering to get a drink on a wet tarpaulin. A life so precious, no different from ours. A soul seeking survival. A snail eats leaves. It is a gardener's bane, but has many stories. The animal who carries its home, going somewhere, going nowhere. What are you thinking, thou with your home on your back? Where are you going as you slide along, leaving a sticky debris? How are you feeling when you are evicted, transported to another place, somewhere else, our ancient creature? That was beautiful, Susie. Beautiful, lovely. Thank you. Really lovely. Okay. Right, I think it's Lucy, ha alias Harry Potter next. Uh, yeah, I, I named it after disaster, but came a beauty, well, I think it's beauty. And it's about my hair situation went on. Okay. As I, I practiced it earlier with my mum. Rat's tail on my hair, it gets bigger and bigger, my hair. The bigger the knot, the more the more unbeautiful it gets. 
the beauty of my hair no longer but I went to this hairdresser she was so she was so blown away how bad my hair was she was she was sad but but then she came happy because she did something good and made my hair beautiful again that's oh, lovely beautiful. that's Thank lovely you. that's what we're all desperate for isn't it now getting it all sorted beautiful okay. lovely Oh, it's wonderful how many you want to share today, Liz. I've got a little one. I'll, I'll do mine. And then if there is a Come on, else, then, T. Hands. Okay. Here's mine. My messy lounge, hoover out. I hate this job. But then, pulling out the sofa to get the crumbs and dust, there is the wonder of an orange BTTC ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, They're everywhere in my house. It's beautiful, but you know, I bet it's beautiful to you. <laughs> That's great. Lovely tea. <laughs> okay. Did I miss anybody out? Wave now. Or... Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Yeah, I got one. I got a right lockdown. I have got. F will be a yes. F1 on the Gilly Show is a good thing. Because we all loved it. Because we can't go out yet. And that's why. And because those people when you can stay indoors or do exercise outside or something. That's nice. For the big Kiki C record show. It's amazing. With Kimmy as a host and Carissa and Chris. I know. Because I believe that. I believe in my friends, all of you, and believe that, my friends. Lovely. Thank you, Andrew. Radio show is certainly a highlight. And um, <laughs> valuable, those lost balls, Susie said. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They're so beautiful. <laughs> and, and, I shall never uh, look at a table tennis ball again right. they in the lovely. same way. They're Nick, quite lovely. Nick's asked if Susie could share the uh, your, what you've written in the chat. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be lovely. Susie said it could be written down somewhere. Yeah, maybe it could all be compiled. That would be nice. In it, it, Liz, do you want to tell us about next week's one? Yeah, right next week is going to be very poetic, actually. We're going to have quite a bit of poetry. There's going to be one on Monday and there's going to be one on Thursday. That's planned for. We'll talk about that later. Um, but there is a challenge for next Thursday, um, and it's really easy. So you, it's easy, and you can remember it quite easily as well. And some of you might have done this before, I don't know. And it's called, I used to be, but now, okay? And it starts off, I used to be something, and then it goes on to, but now. So I'll give you a couple of examples, but it can be almost anything. So the obvious one is, I used to be a caterpillar, but now I am a, Butterfly. Okay. And then you get other ones that mean different things to people. I used to be sad a lot, but now you've made me happier. Or I uh, used to be a little pain, but now I'm a bigger one. I used to be I used to be childless and now I have two. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> there we go. And so I want to I used to give up easily. Um, but now I don't stop until the end. Um, I used to run away from problems when they got hard, but now I, I face them head on. And the last one I think I've got down, let me just see, small writing. Oh, I used to think that love would stay the same, but now I know it multiplies every day. Okay, oh, so what you've got to do, what you've got to do is, just have I used to be something mm. and then but now something I've got that's one. all it is you can do several go on then I've written one on Nick's behalf I used to go to the barbers but now I have no need and I, <laughs> I used to I used to not have any trophies but now I still don't have any trophies <laughs> <laughs> oh I thought I think it we have got more Nick. poetic ones yeah, yeah I used to be a teacher, but now I'm a radio show. Everybody could try it. Yeah, everybody could try it, couldn't they? 
soon to oh, be I a think BBC will have one. radio show. Yeah. Radio show. It's, <laughs> great, it's a great idea. Okay, so that's and the next that's Thursday. Don't put them yeah. in the chat. I'll, I'll put no. something in the chat just to remind you, but don't put them in the chat because they're too short and we'll just yeah. run around next Thursday. But there's a little bit more poetry as well next week. Thank you. Lovely. Fabulous, Liz. Thank, Thank you, Liz. Lovely. Now, Tim, your mum's not on yet, is she? So we need to... Um, uh... Okay, great. I've just quickly written the poem for next week for my one, and it's just to put it in there. It's, um, <laughs> Tim used to have a terrible sense of humour, but now he's got a terrible sense of humour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and now... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's all good fun. Right, caption competition, here it is then. We asked you, and this is the shock. Shh. Okay, let's get it all. Oh, look how many. Remember these? These classics? Okay. Can you sh are you sharing my screen? No, we can't see your screen yet. Okay, that's good. So sh what shall I do? Okay, hold it. I wasn't sure if Susie was writing to someone or writing to everyone and it was meant to be to someone and I just realised it's a poem. <laughs> okay, right. Guys, shall I share? Okay, sorry, I'll share my screen. Yes, please. Yeah? Okay, here he is. Share. Okay. Good. Is that working? Yeah. Right, sensationally, yeah. I've actually had Brandon entering the competition on a, my, on a private WhatsApp, so desperate because I closed the WhatsApp group at a certain time. But Brandon, so keen, has sent in some last minute entries. Bring and one, of them, one, one of them has actually made the final. Mick Cree, <laughs> WhatsApp etiquette is bringing a whole no. new to lockdown. Harry's ringing me right now, so I've declined. Sorry, Harry. Okay, here are the winning ones. This is what I asked you to do, and here are the winning ones. Okay, and then I'll tell you the suspense underneath. There's going to be the actual winner. So here goes. Firstly, from Lenora. Yeah, yeah. Bat suits and masks will be issued to all frontline staff. Very good. <laughs> Next one. From Tim. Bat soup, anyone? <laughs> Bit of a reference to COVID-19. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Next one from Brandon. Life in lockdown is certainly taking a toll on poor Batman. From <laughs> Lenora again. Possible side effects of coronavirus. Very good. Next one from Liz. Can't be accused of overthinking these. Okay, this is more a PhD document than a caption, but let's go for it anyway. It's not who we are underneath, but what we do that defines us. Shopping today, saving the world tomorrow. It's actually very good. <laughs> Brilliant. Next one. Um, my one, not so great. I hope Robin won't be angry that I couldn't get his beloved Earl Grey tea bags. Okay. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's an only fools and horses joke in there. Or something. Uh, Sorry. You're ruining it. You're Sorry. ruining it. Okay. Next one um, from Susie. Very good. This is Dominic Cummings thinking, perhaps they won't recognise me in this gear. Very good indeed. Um, Gary's uh, censored. One last one from Brandon. Maybe not to a PC, but genius. <laughs> Fat man. <laughs> Classy, but the winner of this week's competition is as follows. You plonker, Rodney. You're meant to cover your nose and your mouth from Teresa. Yes. Now, this is the next one. That's great. So thank you so much for that. That was brilliant. Now, the next one, I'm going to do a little bit like they do in the photography thing. I'm going to tell you. Can you give you a bit of a help because we get some that are a little bit way off, but anyway, obviously it's subjective. So the next one, as I said, unbelievably, um, unbelievably, 
I chose this before Nigel Farage was actually sacked. Anyway, this is LBC. This is a radio thing. So you've got to think, what are this, what's this presenter and this guest or whatever thinking and saying? So you could have the caption saying something like, presenters just heard ridiculous, uh, I don't know, presenters just heard caller advocate Trump's re-election or something like that. Anyway, you could do something like that. I think they're both saying, oh, not another one of Nick's jokes. Yeah. Or... <laughs> is that David Cummings? Christ, Cummings? Christ that... I wish callers would stop calling in and talking about table tennis. Yeah. Something like that. Brexit. Um, anyway, so that's, is that David that's Cameron? the caption. Is it David Cameron or does it not matter? It is David Cameron, but it doesn't actually matter. Okay. Why? Now it's not letting me join the meeting. I can't join in. Okay, stop share. Right, so that's it. Doesn't really matter. It is David Cameron, but that doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put that in the caption. I'm going to put that in the chat. And you've got till Thursday to come up with any caption. Yeah, brilliant. Everyone have a go, please. I'll read out all of them next week. As it is lockdown, as we're in lockdown, would you mind locking down that WhatsApp group for a period? Because we'll... It is lockdown. <laughs> I, I mute my phone at night, just in case it starts going bing, bing, yeah, yeah. bing. I've muted all notifications now. All right. <laughs> I love it. Right, right we, Tim, it, Mum's not on yet still, yeah. is she? So, Fran, are you that. okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Fran? I've got the game ready, but I don't need to share screen today. Oh, okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you all a letter, mm. and you have to think of a famous person's name or uh, anything a famous so person in, thing. yeah or an animal you want us to put it in the chat or call it yeah. out and then they've got to put it in the chat fran do you just want one thing or because you said to me you were going to do the name animal place do you just want name and an animal or just one of the things uh, just one of them Okay, so people can just pick one. Oh, it's going to be quick, yeah. isn't it? So I'll give an example. So I'm going to be Bruce Forsyth and Bear. So, Tim, I'm going to give you the letter C. And what do I need to do? Bruce Forsyth and Bear. No, that's what I was. Oh, so I need to do C. I need to do... Carol Thatcher and a, a cat. Okay, Teresa. Also, oh, I have to do D now, do I? Yeah. Shall I go with the alphabet? Yeah. Um, I'll yeah. do David Beckham and a dog. Chris O. He can't think. Chris, you've got E. You've got E, Chris O. Oh, sorry, I'll unmute you, you Chris. E. Sorry, mate. We'll do it like that around. Sorry. Hi. Um, well, uh, I'll come up with, um, wait, 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 Elliot, um, elephant, um, iguana. William. Well done, Chris. I'm going to give Nick... Said. <laughs> what letter has Lenora got? She's got F. F. F for. You there, Lenora? Oh, sorry. Uh, a name, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Felix. What was the other category? I've forgotten. And an animal. An animal. Oh, a yeah, frog. Yeah. yeah. Nick, your letter is N. Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, an animal. Okay. Nicholas and Newt. Liz, your letter is L. Um, uh, um, yeah. Uh, Lenora and Lion. When oh. were your letter is W? Runway? He can't unmute himself, Tim. 
you unmute yourself own way. Animal beginning with W and a person beginning with W. Uh, animal with W, that's hard. Wolf. Oh, good. Wolf. And the person's name. One way. Yay! So you see, your letter is S. Su Susanna Snake. <laughs> Lucy, your letter is H. Who's she going to pick? Lucy, letter is H. Harry. Yeah. I can't think of an animal. An animal with H. Susie, look at look at your mouth. Yeah. Hey. We're riding it, Luce. We're like riding Horse. them. Horse. Yeah. Andrew. Your one is A. Uh, uh, Andrew. Apple. Dan, yours is. I don't know if Dan's there. I think he might be doing something in the club. Yeah, Sandy. Sandy, yours is H. Right. Um, H. H. Uh, a name. Um, Harry and uh, Hippo. Hippo, yours is P. Um, uh, Oh, Pip was frozen. Heard that. Did you hear that? I'm in and out. Yes. No, we didn't. Just heard Say it again, Pippa. Or put it in the chat. Oh, no. Your mum's here now, Tim, so that's good timing. Serena, yours is. Pippa, um, is here. I was just put it in the chat. Oh, she's done it. Pene Penelope Pit Stop and Porcupine. Oh, thanks, Professor. Serena, yours is M. M. Uh, Margaret Thatcher. And, Harold uh, Mouse. <laughs> um, should we go back to Dan as he's there? All right. Dan, your letter is A. Uh, Harry. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry. Harry. Looks frozen. Let's go to Brandon. Last one. Brandon, your letter is K. Your letter. Oh, I'm unmuted. I've got no idea what we're doing. Oh, we <laughs> Your letter is K. K. Oh. Um, Kim Kardashian. In K. Oh, animal beginning with K. Oh, no. It's bouncy. Oh, Australia. Oh, a kangaroo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do your mum? Sorry. Right. Right. And Dan, if you explain the rules, because they've just joined. Okay. I think Dan wants to say something anyway. He, he just said you know what the rules are. I was going to say kangaroo once I worked it out, but someone stole my letter. So um, I'm assuming after thinking. That would be Brandon. He's got no rules, that lad. But, um, Yours is going to be R. Oh, so, yeah, something. She's a that, that She's got a Downs boy, Sally something. Sally Phillips. Yeah. There we go. Oh. You right, Mum? Yeah. Should we give Fran a round of applause for the quiz? Yeah, that was lovely. Thank, Thank you, Fran. Thank you. That was lovely. We all got and then just the sing along. So we do brilliantly for time. That was great time in Helen. Should we do spotlight? Spotlight? Is that helpful for everyone? Yeah. What's that mean? Yeah, we can oh, see you, Helen. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Yeah, you're on spotlight, spotlight. Helen. Okay. So we're going to make these today. They're like gnashes. You see? You can yeah. put an eye on them. I'll show you how to make them. Uh, has anyone managed to make another boat? All my boats are up there. Good. And the other thing I was going to suggest is that if, you've got, if you get the bits of paper, I've got a folder now. So in my folder is in order of what we've made with the pattern and then behind it one example. So at the end of it all, because the thing with origami is you can't always remember stuff. 
And then if you've got, if you get pound, pound land, I'm an advert for pound land, pound folder. And then you just put each of your pictures in with one example behind, and then you've got that to look back on. You did show me a photo, Mum. You know these ones that we did? Oh, yeah. If you do like a big one, and then a slightly smaller one, and a slightly smaller one, and a slightly smaller one, you can just put them on top of each other, don't you? Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now, this is, I'm going to teach you how to make this long nasher, but now, but. I did also find another pattern, and it just said you take your boat from last week. Can you all see? All right, I'm gonna yeah. Right, you take your boat from last week, and at the very end, you open out the middle, and you because you've got the sail of the boat in the middle, hadn't you? Do you remember? Yeah. And you tuck that sail underneath one of the sides of the boat, and you close it. Well, I just tilt your camera down a bit. So you can't see your hands. Sorry, Don. All right. And, okay, I'll do it again. So, in your little boat, the boats you made last week, I'm going to show you another way of doing it, but this is a quick way I found. So, there's the boat, and it's got the sail in the middle, yeah? Mm. So I'm going to put that sail, tuck it inside under one of the side pieces inside, mm. and close it up. Mm. Close it up. And then look, watch. Right, and then uh -huh. if you go again to Poundland, you can get these eyes to put on. Have you seen these googly eyes? No, they're good. So that is just, that's one way of making a nasher, which is your boat from last week. Yeah, can you remember that? Your boat from last week, and then you tuck in the sail under one of the sides inside, and then you fold it down. And then you get these eyes and stick them on the side. Okay, but let's today, did any of you manage to get the instructions? Tim, do you forward them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, it's going to look like this at the end here. Yeah? If we're using A4, it's going to look like that. Obviously, with A5, it's going to get smaller, yeah? And it's like a gripper. Okay, let's try. Everyone ready? Yeah. So you start with a sheet of printer paper. I think probably if I fold in white, it's easiest to see, isn't it? No, come here. Here we oh. go. Right. So you get your sheet. You get your sheet of paper and you fold it back towards you, and you do what's called a book fold. Is the light on my screen? Sorry. <laughs> One. Yeah, right. we can see. Yeah. We can see. Okay. Now, in picture, now we're going to take the bottom, the fold is at the top, agreed? Fold's at the top. Now you're going to take just the top layer from the bottom up to the top. So you took the bottom, the top layer only, take the bottom up to the top. But if those of you have got the instructions, it then says the arrow goes both ways. So it says do it and come back. Now, each corner on the front piece, you're going to fold a triangle up to the fold line. One side, two sides. Everyone with me? Can you unmute people, Tim? So I can hear if everyone's okay. Right. Yeah, it's all good so far. Right, picture, picture four, you're simply rolling up the bottom piece with the triangles and you're rolling it up on the fold you had already and it's going up to the top. So you, you had your two triangles and then you fold just the top layer up to the top. We've got to picture five on your sheet. What does that funny squiggle sign mean? Andrew, what's that squiggle mean? Yeah. There's a squiggle on picture five. What's the squiggle mean? We're not looking at the instructions, Mum. You're not? Okay. Well, right. We've got them on WhatsApp. People have got them on WhatsApp. We were just watching okay. you. Okay, just watch me. Yeah, okay. we follow you. Ben. Sorry. Okay, we just turn it over then. I think the instructions will be useful later if they're needed, but we'll do it first with you. Okay, sorry. That's right. right. So now the, the squiggle means just turn it over. So we turn the whole thing over. Yeah. So you've just got a plain sheet. And then 
Let's do again, fold from the bottom up to the top. Do the fold and back. People with me all right? Yeah. Now, each corner, I love the symmetry of this. All four corners, we're gonna take down to the middle. One triangle. All four corners, bring the triangle down to the middle line. Take your time up getting it accurate. There we go, two, three, four. So what shape have we got? It's got six sides. What's a shape with six sides? Uh, hexagon. Hexagon, good. Is it? Right, yep, good. Well, my mind's not right. right. Does everyone's look like that? Right, I'll go back, right. Anyone else has looked like that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, hang on. Serena's just said, I'll, I'll, I'll allow anyone, allow people to unmute themselves because a few people might have questions. Yeah, unmute yourself. Yeah. Mine doesn't look like that. Sorry, can you go back? I'll go back, yeah. So I'm going right back, yeah. I'm going back to the other side. Right, should I go back to the beginning quickly? Right. Yeah, quickly to the beginning, yeah. So first of all, you just folded the top down. And then you took the you, from the middle you went up to the top mm -hmm. and brought it back again. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Just shout if you're not with me. Yeah. Now, each corner no. there, somebody's not with me. Who's not happy? Me. Andrew. Right, me. Andrew, I'm gonna start on another one. Right. <clears throat> Fold it down. I got I got this far. Yeah, that's right, right Andrew. I think you're, you're, you're ahead of me. <laughs> right, and then, so you fold it down, book fold, fold the bottom line up to the top and back. And then each corner, the two corners at the bottom, you fold up, two triangles. Everyone okay so far? Yeah. I think yes. so. And then, and then you take that, there's a fold there already, you just roll it up. And this is where some of you might have gone wrong. You then turn it over, turn it over. And what we're going to do is I want that, I want the fold line in the middle up to the, and back. Now, each of the four corners is going to go into the middle. You should have a flat piece of paper. Each of your four oh, yeah. corners go into the middle. Four corners. Person who was stuck before, I don't know who it was. Are they all right now? Yes. Four corners to the middle. Got it. Um, I haven't yet. So it should look like that. Yeah. And then we go, we literally roll it up. You're not making a new fold. You roll it up to the top. Mine looks like this. It's not right. Yes, it is. That's fine. No, it's not. It's not flat. Oh, God. Wait a minute. <laughs> and the then... last stage, you do got, four corners. I got that far. Right. Yeah. 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 I'll do it. Let's finish one. Oh, and then um, right. Can, and I, then, can I ask you a question at this stage? Um, should the when we've done it like that? Yeah. When we're putting it back down, the double bit goes at the top, doesn't it? The flat, yeah. flappy bit. Yeah. Okay. On one side, you've got three edges like that. Look. Yeah. And on the other side, we're going to open it out. Um, so you're going to fold it to the middle. Uh, no, I get it. You did get that shape. Fold it to the middle and then cut. You do a little oh. cut. Not supposed to use which side do you cut? Yeah, which oh, side do you cut, cut, Helen? The, the, side. Side. the open side. The, no, the sorry. Side. Where the double, where it's double. Yeah. So yeah. Cut, and then the you fold back. Centimetre cut. Probably less than that, and then you fold those back one side. Two oh, side. There. Oh, I might have cut I, I think bit. next week, Tim, I think it would be better if people did print out the instructions. Right, there we go. Now, it's ready, and we get that far, and then we open it out. Did anyone manage one? Let's have a look. I can't see one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cancel your spotlight. Looks like there's a few people that have made it work. I think we're just watching, eh? Susie and Liz have got one. Andrew, what's that? 
Serena's got one. I've just got this now. I feel like I've got Yeah, mine's just wrong. No, you're, you're there, Tim. What do you do after you, that you, once you've folded it back? That, okay. You're on the... Fold it in half, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, and then just, that's it. Yeah. Oh, did you do the cutting? Yeah. Yeah, you and then if you want to, you can stick the eyes on here. I actually tore it slightly rather than cut it. You need ne you needed scissors. Well, uh, you, you're welcome. I to didn't need scissors. <laughs> so, how many, so Nick's got one. Anyone else manage one? Can't see. Oh, uh, mine's rubbish. <laughs> A pen. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Pen. Pen. What do you think of Tim's jokes? Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> what do you think of Tim's origami? <laughs> you're, you're nearly there, Tim. You, you, you need, need to fold it up. I think you're better at table tennis than you are at origami. We found his weakest point. Tim, <laughs> Tim, that is correct. Just fold it in half with the triangles inside. You've yeah. done it. it. <laughs> Susie's having a puppet show. Now, split it in the middle. Cut it yeah. in the middle. Rip, rip it in the middle. Uh, one, one was made from the boat and the other was made from scratch. What do you know? And where you've ripped... No, keep, you've opened it out again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And from the rip, fold each one up. Along the slim line. To Did you not do this in your childhood, Tim? Really not. Outrageous. What were you doing? All <laughs> this table tennis rubbish. Painting trophies. <laughs> Should have been doing this. <laughs> That's gone. All right. Now? Tim's just nearly done. Right, lay that on the ground, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flatfish. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, oh, that's seriously, that's the script today. Right. That's Michael Rosen would say. Lesson one to one later. <laughs> like a pelican beak. Yeah. And then of course if you make it a slightly smaller one. Um, you get a smaller. I think I think I think I'm using the wrong paper here. I think I You're using it. pimples, Tim. You're using pimples. <laughs> Wrong bat. Now, let, let me see everyone how many we've got. Fish. Dan, Dan was just watching. Andrew, did it work? No. Right, show how far you got. Show me how far you got, Andrew. Hold it up. Right, from last week. We should all hold it up, do a screenshot. <laughs> or have you got a boat there, Andrew? Have you got one of your boats? I cry, but it's doesn't work. Right, Andrew, where's your boat? Got fat and skinny. Right, if you take your boat, Andrew. Yes. In the middle of the boat. Take your boat, and in the middle of the boat, you've got um <laughs> sail, haven't you, Andrew? You've got a yes. sail in the middle of the boat. So tuck that sail under one side. Yeah, I okay. do. And then you've got have you, have you hidden the sail? Yes. And then wash it down. Look, and you've got a little one. It's like a, that's more like a mouth, isn't it? That's it. But inside, Andrew, press those bits down. A bit more. But yeah. Right, Andrew. It's that's pieces. It. Is it these ones? Yeah. That's your boat, isn't it? Yes. That, is that your boat? Oh, right. Press man. the bottom bit down a bit. What do I do with my boat? I can't see you. You see it now, Andrew? Yes. You're getting rid of, of the sail. You get rid of the sail and then you go. Andrew, that's right, you've done it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that's yeah, from your boat. Andrew. That's from your boat. So can you show everyone and see how many we've got? Yeah. Gallery view. Yeah. Who's in spotlight? Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew's in spotlight. Right, gallery view. 15 people and there's uh, 13 crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I getting a screenshot? Hang on. Three, two, one. I've, I've done some screenshots. Have you? Can you send me them? Yeah, I will do. All right then. <laughs> that was good. That was good, Helen. We love Thank it, you. Helen. We love it. Don't be disappointed. I'm sure someone can show you. Or you've got mm -hmm. Trees that are what? As, as, as for oh, Tim, yeah. we'll have to have a special remedial class for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Poor Tim. I know. I need help. Oh, you're no, it's you haven't tried. You've been trying hard enough. Here's someone made earlier. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Fancy. 
Yeah. Like those. Helen, what are you making? Oh, How do you make them? Yeah, I just I just make these in my sleep. Oh, you'll have to show us next week, Tim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Helen, I'm, I'm full demonstration. These, these have been made in, in uh, Earl Stoke Prison by some of my wow. mum. Wow. They're really oh, fantastic. I'd like to make learn to make that. Week. If they want if they want a real origami teacher to come in, then give them my number. <laughs> <laughs> I to know if Lucy got the present she wanted from her brother. Helen, can you show us next week how to make those dear little hearts that you do, like the little hearts or stars? I don't think you've shown us those. Is it the little hearts? What, love these? I'll show you a heart. Oh, Andrew, that's Andrew can show you that. That's Andrew's. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Andrew, you, Andrew teaches that. That's amazing, Andrew. Mm. Yes. Lovely, is Andrew. It, is it, Andrew? I, I can teach you. I can teach you. Andrew, you can do that one. Yes. You can have a day off, Mum. <laughs> Andrew, was no, it no way. I'm taking away your sing song, sorry, but you get you get the idea. Um yeah, you, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks, Helen. Thank you. That was great. Oh, thank you, Helen. It's my pleasure. I, thank I you for putting you thank you for putting up with my son. Mm. Oh, not at all. He's lovely. Lovely. We love, we love, we love Tim. In fact, Tim, Tim, Tim. Oh, Tim. Mum, mum, mum. Oh, it's Tim Preston. Lucy's present. We go like your pair like this size. All right, Andrew. We we'll do that next week, shall we? Because yeah, next, next <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show me next week, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, if Andrew finds the instruction, send it. Andrew. Luke. Yes. Show my mum your um your sign that you made about the Daily Show. Oh yeah, okay. It's on your Lucy. table. Lucy. Lucy. Not your sign. You Helen wants to know what you got from your brother. Oh. Look at I that. got a nice top um uh devil stick. That's Thank great, you. Andrew. Say that again. That's beautiful, Andrew. Lucy, say that again. I got a light up devil stick yes. from my brother. Oh yeah, you should. Wow. I don't know what that means. Oh, I can, I can get him tomorrow. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, if there's time, yeah. What I'm going to do... Sorry, I've just served you. ...is uh, meet everyone because uh, Lucy's getting a devil stick. But Susie, have you got a connection to the shop? Oddball's the shop. Yeah. One in Brighton. Yeah, I, I helped to find, I found, find the first one in uh, 1984 in London. Covent Garden? Actually, actually, it was in our flat, first of all. Is it in Covent Garden? Uh, no, uh, that was a stall in Covent Garden. It was. It's in. We've got one in Camden Lot, and we had one in Islington Park Street originally. But now we have, and we had one in Manchester. We had one in Oxford. All all different places. But now we have two. We have one in a Camden Lot one, and we also have um, one in Brighton, of course. Kensington Gardens. Yeah, and also we have an oh, online yeah. store. And we also supply to shops internationally all over the world and so make where, our um, equipment too. Is that where the devil stick came from? Yes. Yeah. So show us what you got. Oh, <gasps> oh wow. You can, you oh. can twirl that in your hand. Oh, as well. oh, look at that. Lucy, that is amazing. And she can Whoa. do it. Lucy can do it. Yeah, that's that's and I've got one too. Well, she needs to have a two-minute slot to do that one of your shows next Definitely. week. Definitely. We'll put that in the slot next week. Give her a slot to show it. <gasps> my sister my sister must have been about, I don't know, 18 or something. She had a fire poi. I'm sure Oddball sell poys. Yes. We were doing it on the roof of our flat in central London, and a police helicopter came down told her to get off. Well, I've got, um, tonight I'm doing a, an interview about um, the history of uh, street performing, how we started oh. Oddballs and stuff, uh, for the street entertainers. Well, and I've got you. a few funny tales to tell, and, and I've asked some of the people back in the 80s to give me memories, and they've given me some very funny memories too. Well, is that, is that, is that on, you're doing that on YouTube, or what are you doing I'm that on? I'm doing that on Facebook Watch. Can someone oh, do a screenshot, Lucy? Screenshot. Send them in, please. I'll put a link on my Facebook and um, then you'll see. It's it's called Encourageable Rogue. <laughs> a screenshot of Lucy, quick. I used yeah. to love going to Lucy, watching the street performers. Lucy does beautiful poise as well. 
and she does a hula hoop and dances with it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, she had her newly acquired skill of cigar boxes. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, listen, Mum, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Helen, for asking Lucy what she got because she loves it. <laughs> great present. I mean, if you yeah. if you've got if you if you're connected to the Oddball Shop, then there's just unbelievable birthday presents for life. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> asked Lucy, she'll probably get a discount for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Monsieur Creel, what are we listening to? Well, we, I gave you a choice actually, but I think we'll go with Candy Stat and Young Hearts Run Free. Yeah? Nice song, we can all have a dance and we'll keep the other one for another time. So Young Ooh, Hearts Run Free, free Candy Staten. Nice song, we can just dance a bit and relax. Bang on! Go. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Sense and sharing this one and only life, ending up just another lost and lonely wife. You count up the years, and they will be filled with tears. Love only breaks up to start over again. But you'll get the babies, but you won't have your man.
Susie. Skills. Loved it. So good. Fantastic. Such fun. And before you all go, next Sunday is my birthday, and you guys can send me birthday cards if you want to. Send, send us your address. address. Send us your address. Yes. It's 15, Will, it's where Chris lives. Text, like text, it text it to text it to me, and then anyone who yeah. wants it, I can send it to them. So we're not just going to broadcast it, but we can yeah. send targeted people for you, Fran. It's where Chris lives. You might get more than a birthday yeah. card. Oh, thank you. Art, um, the art sessions with Serena and you want to be on the WhatsApp group because she shares the pictures and ideas and things like that. So do let me or Serena know and then um, Serena can put you on there. You could have joint admins on there. You could have Nick on there if you wanted to lock it down ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my admins my trophies, 